bravo 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 you see what happened but before i talk on that um let's also let's continue to appreciate you guys out there our fans our viewers our subscribers you see thank you thank you thank you keep subscribing keep subscribing keep viewing and and then hit the bell so that you always get our updates okay we keep we'll continue to appreciate you thank you for that all right back to today's action you've seen exactly what happened is a is a normal scenario that happens in our neighborhood our different neighborhoods every now and then all right but something there's something he would have done to stop that young man from succeeding to snatch that bag out now what would he have done that's what we are about to find out now let me hang the bag oh sorry actually you are not conscious of what is happening you're just moving but like i said whenever you are in an environment your day-to-day -day life as a martial artist this is the reason why you must have to get yourself trained to be a martial artist because your mind and body is always trained for things like this so your environment okay i am yes, moving before that action, I should sense something a little, maybe not that much, but a little. Okay, now come and take snatch a bag. As I'm moving, I step, step, step. Okay, now you see this? This is consciousness. Before the hand, the, the bag pulls up, I lock him. Now, the moment I lock him, what next? Bam! To the ground. And then he goes down. Bam! Bam! And I lock the hand equally, and I take my bag, and I crush him, and I go my way. All right? Okay? Now watch that. We take that slowly again. I am stepping, because I am conscious of my environment. The moment I feel something, bah! you can see that. I turn immediately, bah! and I lock it bah! to the groin. He goes down, and I lock it. Bam! I lock the hand take my bag all right crush him and go now let's systematically somebody will ask how was I able to grab immediately this is what happened this is what happened lastly like I said I am conscious I'm not just moving aimlessly because wherever I find myself you have to be conscious now as I am stepping I'm stepping. You can see my hand. Pow! You notice that the moment I feel a little touch, I have already taken. Now I lock in case he's trying to move. Now there's no way for him to go here because I've locked him and the hand is already locked. Now the next thing is pass this to the groin, which I know once I drop there at the groin, he is totally weakened. Now from here, I can take anything and take him down. I lock the hand. Crush there, take my bag, I see crush him, and then I go my way. Alright, simple. Okay? Come on. Now let's see another part where let's assume I was not I was not that much conscious. I allowed he, okay, he succeeded to take the bag, and while on his way, that's when I take my action. Because probably the first one I was very, very conscious, I had to lock him from removing the bag now let's assume that he succeeded to take the bag how do i stop him that's what we want to find out okay i'm back i'm going all right now he has taken the bag i lock the bag from here i crush the leg you can see that i crush the leg and i lock him while crushing the leg i take my bag and i strike there again i can free him and i go my way all right Okay, now you can see that. You need to be very smart to do that. Watch again. I wasn't too conscious. He took the bag, but I had to drag the bag from behind. Now watch again. Now a bit slower. I move. I move. Pop. I drag the bag. Now while dragging the bag, where his leg is, I crush the leg down. Lock the hand with the crushing. Now take my bag. Probably I take my time to hang the bag, 
approach and then I go my way. Okay. Now, let's take one more technique on the same I allow or he succeeded. Let me not say I allow because I wasn't that conscious that much to stop him halfway. So he succeeded to take the bag. Now let's see a different way, apart from the one we've just seen, a different way of how to stop him. Okay, let's go. I lock the bag. Now locking the bag from here. Pass! Pass! It goes down. Boom! Simple. I take my bag. Good. Most importantly, you must be able to lock the bag from the bag. Now, let's run a quick one. Just grab. Now, watch. Pow. I grab the bag. Now, this grabbing of the bag, he's struggling, dragging to pick the bag. Now, the other one, I decide to go there. But this time, I can decide to go here. And he goes down. And I see. Pow. Right? So many ways. All right, now watch it. Come, say, I grab the bag. The moment I grab the bag, as the main, main thing I need to do, take bah! you see that boom. Simple. Simple, several techniques you can do. Most, most importantly, just grab the bag. Then take your action. Grab the bag. You have several actions to take. So, all right. I grab. The moment I grab this, what do I do? Pa, pa, pa. And watch this. I lock him down. Boom, 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 boom. And I go with my bag. Good for him. He wanted to snatch the bag. Now he turned out to get what he got. So good for him. So viewers out there, be careful. Always be conscious. Whenever you're hanging a bag, you're holding anything valuable. Like I said, be conscious of your environment wherever you find yourself on the street or wherever. As far as an environment, we always have these bad types, these bad human beings around. So you can't predict what will happen. So always be conscious. So we are leaving you with this today. And we'll come your way next time. Bye for now. But before we go, before we go, always subscribe. Hit the bell. And leave your comments. All right. See you some other day.